The birds sing as if to celebrate the new day. The sun has just risen. The morning dew still sits on the plants and the earth is still cold. But work on the farm starts early. This is Thorpe's organic produce, one of almost 700 certified organic farms in Ontario. The owner, Ted Thorpe's, is a pioneer in this business. Organically based ones? And to him, farming is like a religion. It's a basic philosophy um, where, whereby you, you know, as, as farmers, we're at the forefront of uh, resource-based industry. Uh, and if we do it organically, uh, we start at the roots of uh, environmentalism. So uh, farming organically is, uh, is important on a philosophical basis. Uh, makes sense in all, in all respects. It protects the environment and, and you as consumers. Right. You can eat this stuff straight out of the ground. But for us to eat straight from the earth, farmers like Ted must focus on their hard work. Uh, long hours, uh, you know, you got to bust your ass in this business. Uh, in order to get ahead, but uh, we're fortunate right, right now that um, the local community is very supportive of, uh, of what we do, so the market is very good. It's just a case of producing uh, a good product. Ted's income comes from private orders and farmer's markets. One of his most coveted vegetables are carrots. To him, purchasing the organic vegetable just makes sense. The customers have the opportunity to buy something that's uh, it's completely f uh, local and, and fresh. These carrots have been growing underneath the ground for over three months. Well, today, they have been picked to undergo the craziest journey of their lives. A 100-kilometer trek from Millgrove, Ontario, to Canada's busiest and biggest city to become someone's dinner. Empty roads surrounded by trees transform into the cityscape. Our newly washed carrots have arrived in the big city. Their temporary home is the Dufferin Grove Farmer's Market, a place where food lovers come to purchase a healthier life, something Paul DeCampo from FoodShare believes every Canadian should do. You know, we are raising a, popula a generation of children whose life expectancy is shorter than their parents. This is unprecedented in the developed world, and it's criminal. And you know, we have to collectively get our head around the fact that food has to become more of a priority and the quality of food is worth investing in. His NGO's mandate is good healthy food for all, something the government of Ontario is also striving for. Savor Ontario is a project uh, that, that's uh, under the OMAFRA, the Ministry of Agriculture, and they do great work uh, connecting local uh, chefs with their local producers. Mario Cassini is a Brazilian chef whose restaurant is a part of the program. And today he is connecting with Ted through our carrots. Well, these are especially for you. How, how much is it? Uh, five dollars. The time has come for this farmer to pass on the fruits, or rather, vegetables of his labor. This will take our carrots to their final destination, Caju Restaurant. Located at Queen and Shaw, the Brazilian restaurant is one of 85 spots in the Savor Ontario program. Farmers that come from, you know, uh, the traditions of uh, to being a farmer and once they are in the city, why not to take the advantage and support the cause. In his kitchen, Mario pureed our carrots into a tasty soup. When you get fresh, when you get especially organic, the flavor is guaranteed always better. He guarantees it. But the time has come to put Ted, Mario, and the carrots to the test. And the verdict is... The carrot soup tastes delicious. I've never, I've never had carrot soup before. So it's, um, it's a, quite an experience. The journey for our carrots end here. But the cycle continues. This will now become compost, and in one or two years, it will be put back into the soil to help create another delicious fruit or vegetable for us to enjoy. To find out more information on how you can eat healthier, visit saverontario.ca. For Ryerson Broadcast News, I'm Felipe Leite.